Alright, uh, time for my round 2 game of this month's Red GP. I'm playing against MBD, who seems to be on some sort of Rakdos midrange deck. Anyways, let's see. On the play, okay. And this hand, uh, do I keep this? Uh, well, I mean, he has turn 2 speaker of on. It, it might get killed, but if that happens, then what do I do? Uh, I don't want to keep this, but at the same time, I don't think I can really afford to mulligan this one. I, get, I can't really exactly get a better hand than this, so I'm going to keep this and hope to draw into lands. Especially fetch lands, because I don't actually have a fetch land for all for all. Uh, turn 1, they have a 1 drop. Under crop poisoner, okay, sure. Uh, another speaker of on. Okay, well, uh, hopefully I draw land next turn. Actually, I, I still have one more turn to draw land. And if I don't draw lands, then I guess it's, I just play a bunch of speaker of ons and hope that it does something. All right. Uh oh, that thing. Uh, that's annoying. Okay. Uh, I have to take damage here. And what do I get? Cont okay, there we go. That's the fetch land, but it's it's tapped. Okay. Uh, and get, I get pain counters. Uh, anyways, I th I think I play speaker of on on curve and then try to. If it survives, it gets overall. If it doesn't, then I speak of on again next turn, and then overall the turn after that. I mean, like, if I can ramp up and get a kick rift off, I think I'm in a good position. Because kick rift off answers a bunch of things, and they can't exactly blow it up either. Now let's see what kind of discards they have. Uh, I don't think there's any targeted discard in the deck. Yeah. Alright, so I just have to hope to get up to enough mana to do my thing. Uh, they're gonna swing with both. Well, uh, is there any point in... Do they have a minus one, minus one effect? Uh, the answer is yes, but it's sorcery. Okay, yeah, I can just block here. And they pass. Okay, interesting. Upkeep, it takes some more damage. Okay, I finally get to play Ulfro then. And Ulfro gets the kill under Croft Poisoner. Uh, it doesn't deal with Alahanna, but whatever. That's something I need to deal with eventually, but I'll just let get me turn after turn for a while. But yeah, I mean, I get to do what I want to do. Uh, play Ulfro, that thing... Kills under crop poisoner, Alahanna kills all for all. I mean, that's a good exchange. So, yeah, play contested passage, stack it for. I need red. So, and then play all for all. And I'm getting green after this, right? Uh, yeah, I kind of need to. Go under crop poisoner, get back contested passage. Well, actually, I don't have to decide on what to fetch. Well, I'll f decide end of turn, but. Uh, yeah. So, like, if I top deck a land, I get to play Fury Call Hellion next turn. If I don't top deck a land, I guess I go. Rift off, unkick Rift off to kill Alahanna because I do need to deal with that thing eventually. Uh, raise Rampage, okay, sure. That doesn't actually do that much, right? Okay, so kills Ulfril. Are they masked right now? It, it seems like it. Yeah, okay. So, there's no point in fetching blue because I don't have any blue cards right now. So I'll fetch green. And let's see what I get. Uh, Fury Call Helion. Okay, well, actually I can... Okay, right. Need to take damage from Alahanna. Okay, so I can Fury Call Helion, blow up Alahanna, and then... Yeah, that's a pretty good exchange. Uh, Unencroft Poisoner still gets to whack me for one, but that's fine. Gets Alahanna off the board. Like, that's pretty good. And they get a trigger off Beaker of On. Uh, do I tunnel this guy? Uh, well, I'm on a defensive, so I don't want to go into the tunnels. Yeah, I just pass here. Uh, they can raise the Alahanna again. That whacks me for four, but then I just Fury Call Helion them again. Uh, do I... Actually, so how much do I want to trade? Hmm. Okay, uh, how easily can they trigger under Crop Poisoner? I think I actually do want to trade down here, right? Because if I manage to take this to the late game, I win. So I, like, how much does one damage matter? Uh, this feels bad, but at the same time, hmm. Uh, okay, so what if they kill my guy? Um, they kill Speaker of On, I need to top deck land. Um, hmm. If they kill Fury Call Helion, then they're not, yeah, I, I take, sure. Am I going to get punished for that? Uh, no, they're just going to bring back Alahanna and whack me for four. I am getting really low right now, though, so that's worrying. Uh, Wild Court Seeker. Um, I can't do much with that right now. Or can I? Uh, I can get back Contested Passage. I think it's just, just better to use Fury Call Helion, right? Play Fury Call Helion, blow up Alahanna, start swinging. I mean, Wild Court Seeker gets me closer to Silver Sound Ancient, which I might need to stabilize. But it leaves Alahanna in play, which is, like, antithetical to what I need to do right now, so... Uh, Actually, there is a way to do it. Wild Court Seeker, Attack, Contested Passage, Drift off to Alahanna. So that seems reasonable. Yeah, it seems re reasonable. Yeah, I'll go for it. Let's see if they block. They take. Okay, cool. So uh, let's make sure I get my mana correct. Play Wild Court Seeker. Uh, Wild Court Seeker gets back Contested Passage. Contested Passage fetches green, probably. Or no, I'll need. Uh, I'll fetch blue just in case, right? Yeah. So this thing fetches blue, and then. 
Uh, get rid of the Alahana. I think I am going to trade Wild Quartz Seeker this turn, because I really don't want to take more damage if I can prevent it. Oh, are they, are they still Masked right now? Yeah, like, I feel like I'm getting a lot of game wins just because I'm getting super lucky. Uh, swing? Okay, yeah, I definitely block here. Under Crop Poison number two? Okay, sure. Uh, let's see, do I have enough for Silver Sun Ancient now? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I do. I'll play New Divide, Fetch, and then Silver Sun Ancient, Gain Life, because I need to have enough life to survive another Anahana tick. In that case, yeah, I, I swing first. Uh, are they going to block the Silver, the Fury Call Helion? No, they don't block. Okay, cool. Uh, New Divide, play this untapped, fetch out the forest, and then land the Silver Sun Ancient. So that gets a counter from Speaker of On, and I gain some life. And I think I will block under Crop Poisoner if they attack, right? Okay, yeah. That was really unfortunate for them. So, let's see. What do I want? I want removal. I want board wipes. And I want... Is Cathet good? Uh, yes, yeah, so they have a bunch of stuff that Cathet kills. And what do I not want? I think Bout Harvest is not useful in this matchup. Too slow. Um, actually, do I... No, that's too many Cathets. I can, like, make a split Cathet and Asahai. There's also probably too many Brazes, honestly. Silver sounds good. Uh, Wild Court Seeker is slightly less good, right? Not sure. I don't need this many Bring the Hell Downs, right? And still need to make three cuts. Do I start cutting Chromatra? No, I can't cut Chromatra. That thing is my mana fixer. Maybe I cut some Wild Court Seeker. Uh, no, that's my ramp. Fury Call is really good there, too. Uh, well, maybe cut one Grand Constance. Okay, maybe I don't need Bring the Hell Down. And no, I don't cut Grand Con This is like my win the game button. Uh, you know, I'll cut some Wild Frozen and Wild Court Seekers. Ever. I'm not sure what I'm doing. And this hand is slow, but reasonable, right? Uh, not really. I need to mulligan for a more early game. Well, I mean, this hand... I'll, I'll keep it. Uh, hopefully Chromatic Shard draws me into something. Because otherwise, I'm in a lot of trouble. And what do I... Do I want... Do I bomb Nascent Light Bane or New Divide? I think I'll bomb uh, Nascent Light Bane. Uh, nothing turn one. That's good. Ooh, Speaker of On. Okay, there, there we go. We got our two drop. Uh, how much... Removal do they play? Gin Shaper, okay. Uh, Wild Quartz, okay, yeah, I, I, I'm actually get a really good curve now. Somehow drawing exactly what I need. So play Speaker of On, it probably gets killed, but that's good because that, that eats up a removal spell for Wild Quartz Seeker. Oh yeah, and Fatal Flaw does not kill this thing, which is fun. So they need to play Glana and Minus? Yeah, that's fine. But it also, why does it also do two to me? Well, anyways, uh, now I, another Wild Court. Okay, cool. The new divide fetches Red, and they can't minus Galana again in a row, so I, I can play safely. Wild Court's probably going to survive. Well, actually, so I can play around Fatal Flaw here by fetching, or by, yeah, by playing this. Uh, how many Fatal Flaws? They have three Fatal Flaws. Is it worth, you know what, it, I think it's worth playing around Fatal Flaw. Even play this untapped and see what they do. Uh, it's a 2-2 two -two right now. I, I am at 11, which is a bit low for comfort. Uh, what? So this thing is card draw, so that's fine. It doesn't affect the board. But they're not going to try to fail flaw it. Okay, are they going to try to fail flaw this thing in response now? Guess not. Okay, sure. And then I guess that resolves. Uh, I need double white, right? Yeah. Okay, let's see. Um, drift off. That's quite good. So do I keep want, want to keep playing to the board, or do I want to actually do something? Uh, I can attack with Wild Court, get out New Divide, Fury Call, their Glana. Is that good? Alternatively, if I don't want to pay life, I can wild court. Well, I can wild court attack and then wild court again. I think ramping myself up to Silverstone Ancient is my best play here, so I should definitely attack here. If they want to trade two guys for wild court seeker, I think I'm quite happy if they for that to happen. So, yeah, I'm going to attack Glana. Get back new divide. Uh, do I play this untapped? I think the answer is no. Yeah, because if I want to play new divide untapped, I can just okay. They're just going to chomp. Yeah, that's fine. So now I play Wild Court Seeker plus Chromatic Shard, I guess. Yeah. That gets me to Silver Sun Ancient next turn. I'll play this untapped. Uh, do I need to fetch green? Yes, but I can always fetch green later, so I'll just fetch blue now to get my guys slightly bigger. Or do I want to play around? Do I want to keep playing around Fatal Flaw? Actually, yeah, I do. I can fetch blue later. So play Chromatic Shard, draw a card, and pass the turn. These Wild Court Seekers are looking quite scary. My draws usually aren't this good with this deck. Like, I, I imagine get my new divides plus Wild Court Seekers going. And Lion Knife is low enough for them to somehow find a way to burn me out. Uh, they're going to... Oh, Obsidian Shaper me. Interesting. Okay, uh, I need to play Silver Sun Ancient next turn to not die then. But I do have enough mana to do that, so that's good. 
gonna find Sklana, okay. So that just, I, it straight up dies. Oh, they're getting me down to 4 life. Okay, uh, can they kill me from here? No, I'm worried. Uh, okay, Raisin Rampage. Into the confident. Oh, uh, that's lethal. Alright, uh, probably should not have played the divide on tap there. Huh, okay. Well, uh, seems like they can still get there. Alright, so what did, what did I learn from that? Uh, not much. Yeah, maybe Cathet's just better than Ass High. Anyways, uh, let's, yeah, let's run this back. Or maybe Ulfro, maybe Wild Court is just better than Ulfro right now. Yeah. But no, Ulfro can snipe stuff. I think Ulfro is better than Wild Court. So yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll run it like this. They have a bunch of smallish guys. Uh, well, they also have some bigger guys. Uh, yeah, I'm still really unsure about how to board for this matchup. And this hand, it's not keepable. This hand is also not great, but it adds Chromatic Shard on two at least, and some mana. So I think I bombed Silverstone Ancient because Grand Constance is usually going to be better. And then I just hope to draw into some action early. <clears throat> I will need to fetch white with this thing because that means I get to play my Drift Hops later on. Uh, speaker up on. Okay, cool. So, uh, where's planes? There's planes. I might need to use Chromax Shard in order to play my Drift Offs, but that should be fine. And they're gonna play New Divide until- oh, they get to actually get a trigger off this thing. The question here is, do I want to trade Speaker of On for Undercroft Poisoner? And the answer is a pretty clear no, but it is reasonable to think about, at least. Oh, yeah, that's scary. Uh, okay, now do I want to trade? Because I can't actually- I mean, it, this, thing, this thing just dies to Drift Off. I can afford to take damage, and now I really need to draw the right colors. There's so many bad draws for me here. Because I'm both, yeah, okay. All right, uh, Chromatic Shard, you get me a land? Okay, there we go, that's a land, and I can't do anything this turn. So I'm just gonna have to get whacked again. But I am ramping myself up into something. Unfortunately, I have to decide between red and white, and I think right now, double white's more important so I can get my drift offs going. Uh, so yeah, naming white, which is not ideal, but that's fine. And if I draw a land next turn, I'll be able to check, uh, I kick Drift off, which should get the board in, under control, so I won't block this turn. And I hope they don't have a removal for a Speaker of On. And two of these things. Okay, well that's... I'm really hoping for a land top deck, I guess. Because if I don't get a land top deck, uh, these guys are getting really scary. Alright, so... Land, please? Uh, well, that's exactly what I needed. So, let's see. That fetches red, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, I fetch red with this thing. <clears throat> and then they get to whack me with Undercroft Poisoner again, but... However, I need to get the board under control, and I am working my, well, my way up towards Grand Consonance. So, yep, drift off. You know, if I actually waited a turn, I could have I like, cast Grand Consonance a turn afterwards. Uh, no, the man doesn't work out. Alright, I am I have nothing on board again. I, I could play Rainy of the Bulls next turn, and that starts getting stuff on board. If I draw land next turn again, I can play another kick drift off and answer whatever they play this turn. They're just going to attack first. Sure, I'm getting kind of low. 11, oh, they're, they're still mass screwed this, this game. Alright, uh, interesting. Oh, well that's convenient. Uh, I'm getting quite close to Grand Constance now. Uh, unfortunately I can't really... Yeah, this this isn't a very attractive drift off right now, so I won't play it. I'm gonna, whack, I'm gonna be whacked by these guys again. I just want to, like, bite the bullet and play drift off right now. Get rid of two things. I think I... I think I'm willing to take damage. I'm gonna just play Running of the Bulls and start making these things. Like, start... Uh, start being down. Uh, so speaker ball. I'll see if I want to trade or not. Well, no, I don't because I want to be able to kick drift off next turn. Oh, they got mastered again. Okay. Uh, I'm just winning games that I shouldn't be winning because somehow I managed to force my dex man issues onto my opponent. Anyways, yeah. I guess see you next round. I didn't expect to be doing this good right now with this deck and its mana problems.